Okay, we're going to show you the first bit of putting together your basket. You might just want to completely go for it with the flowers you've got, and that's absolutely fine, but we thought we'd put together a little video for anybody who just doesn't have a clue or just wants a few little tips. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is soak your oasis in water. So fill a sink, um, and you're just going to put in the whole brick, and then just leave it to sink to the bottom itself. Um, don't push it down, don't be tempted to do that to quicken up the process of soaking it through. Just leave it for a good half hour, flip it over if needed, leave it for a bit longer. Because if you push it down in the water, um, you're more likely to get air bubbles in it and areas where it isn't completely wet. So, when you've got a really soaking bit of oasis, I've packed the bottom of my um, basket just with some plastic. Um, you could use the plastic that your flowers came in, carrier bags, or you could even use newspaper. Thank you, helpful assistant. Um, and that is just to raise your brick up a little bit because when you put it in, you will have to squish, squash it in a bit and it'll shave some off. It just gives you a bit more to work with at the sides, um, a bit more exposed. So you do want to lift it up a little bit. Um, your basket's completely lined so you can add water to these flowers once they've been made up as well. So that's your oasis in and it'll be nice and secure um, in there as well. It won't come out. You can tape them, get, you can get special florist tape but we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is add your greenery and that's what this little video is going to show you. Um, so you've got leather leaf and salal um, and this is going to help to create a little bit of shape to your basket. So I'm going to just cut them and just start popping them in. Um, and you're looking for like even kind of um, shape all around. So if you cut them on that side, make sure it's balanced on the other side. Use all that you have um, in your basket. Eve, what are you doing? Eve, what are you doing? Checking. Eve, come down. Checking. Thank you. Checking we're on. Checking we're going. Right, so you're just going all the way around, creating a bit of shape with the leather leaf that you have. Um, again, just going around the outside. Do you want to be pushing? It in nice and secure, so there's at least a couple of centimetres or a centimetre so of the foliage going into the basis. See, even bits like that look a bit, they're not particularly pointed, but we'll use them all the same. And then you can start to put some in the middle as well. Um, and if you do everything kind of radiating out from a central point when you place some flowers or foliage, and that just kind of helps to keep a nice shape. Um, keep it flowing. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bit of a structure going on with the basket there. Um, and the next thing will be to add your other um, foliage. You can do them in either order. There's a lot of tips. Some of them look like they've been eaten by a big hungry caterpillar, so maybe you might want to take off any ones that look like they've been um, bitten or anything like that. So you can put them in as well. It's just nice to use two different kinds of foliage to add a bit of contrast. So, we'll just keep going. So, we've got two different types of leaves and it just makes it look nice and pretty. and the salal that you've been supplied with you also might like to have a look in your gardens or kind of if you go out on a little daily walk um, you can add some of the stuff that you might have um, lying about or that you find um, as a foliage as well and now would be the time a good time to do that again just to give a bit of structure <laughs> thank you helpful assistant got some of this lovely um, I don't even know what this is got pine cones on so so just I think there must be pine, but um, if you've got you know if you've got ivy or anything growing nearby, little strands of ivy coming through, that type of thing would all look lush. So again, you're just going to start adding that through, but you don't have to. That there's a couple of bits of um, types of foliage you've been supplied with will be enough. So just keep going in that way, creating a nice shape. Make sure it's not kind of 
bigger at one side, keep having a look from above and checking your shape um, and keep adding the foliage in that way, yeah. Enjoy the foliage bit.